Parker. Thank you for joining us. Good evening from here. Omo Chineke. Thank you. We move. We are broadcasting live from here. Our homeland radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land. Where I am broadcasting from. Thank you. Omo Chineke for joining us. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Simazi Marab I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Aninri. Aninri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Nam Dekani is our leader, and he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement. Illegally detained, though, in case some people are trying to convince you to give you more reasons why your strength should decay because Namdekan will not make No, he has defeated them in their court. Let me add the number to call. We are coming. Thank you. Omo Chineke. You are highly welcome. We move. We move. I think the very number have been pinned there. Let us listen to our leader then before we move. We know we know that um, the Nigerian government is panicking and that is why they are jumping up. The Supreme Court judges, this very program is for you all. We have come again to tell you how it's supposed to be very, very important. Then let's go. Yes, it's panicking. We are panicking. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, they are panicking. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are live and we are direct. We move. <laughs> that is the very video we want to play. Right? Now we move. Let us pray. I, I think you are watching the pictures on the screen right there. Very, very important that you watch the pictures there. And that is the stage we are in this very battle. 
the battle is stage by stage. Welcome to this very um, program from our homeland radio Biafra. Right here from the studio here in Biafra land, we are reaching you live from wherever you may be watching us from. Good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon, according to where you may found yourself on the face of this planet Earth. Thank you. Omo Chineke. Let us pray. Nare kele na ro tuto na ro jita ma na rambuli elu na re chisi. Ibu chi. Ina di rue biebi. Ime elu nye mwanyi. Ime la chine kudo. Ime la chine ka ipiobi. Ime la. Chine ke namde kano. Ime la. Chine ke ndi ISN. Ime la. Chine ka ije mwano. Ime la. Chine ke ujuku. Nande agaya. Ime la. Odi o nye di kage. Odi o nye ije mwano. Nabo yege. Ode kwa nonya inji sike na abo yege. Ibo kota ganyo no wanine. Eba go kwa anyo ume. Igo siko kwa anyo ume. Zite ni hendi sinaka ipi yobi ineme. Anye toru gya. Kama no ni hini iboranyi. Anye kwe sike nyanyi na mdikano. Anye kwe sike nyanyi ESN. Kama no obe de mmage. Anye kwe sike nyanyi ipi yobi. Kama ni igo siko anyo yeho nanya. Nare kele na ro tuto. Anye mwete tupe hindi jyo tu ambo. Inye obako ono na ale ibo. O na ala biafra. Ni ine. Obako ono na ala biafra ni ine. Ne mwegi ebe. Nde o chichi obodo. Nge si. Kwa ha. Na kwa are ha. Mwobu na ache ha. Mwobu mwe inye obu na. Ha mwere iti ye. Na obako odi otua. Bo IPOB. Obi amira inje kusike. Obu inye na kwa danyi. Obu inye hawa. Bo ndi chikotra anyi. Obi amira inye kikre neba ino. Mwakwa na yamere, aije buli gelu. Ebi nyeranyi inye di otua. Ainji kwe wena wakwa konye, nanki ime ranyi. Mbo wanine barankata. Nagaye mwe mada eba. To desolate our land. Igo sikuranyi inye hona anyagi. Igo sikuranyi ede mmagi. Igo sikuranyi eberegi. Igo sikuranyi udogi. Because nadeka hame sirye ni ine, ime kwa. Nabwe gina hana sirye hanyi inye ni ine, mega anyi na banke, ma ula anyi, ma eba ena aracho pusitarane. Tata, ime go yinyere. Ime go yinye ni ine, ane mene, ndi ahono nanya. So si yon forobo, ka yinye lo budo nka akanyi. Obya geme, ayye eche kwa ngo zigi ni ina. Na mande fulani, aga ekelegi. Mohon apo, yinye ranyi. Na mande fulani, aga ekelegi, ni yinye unko, yinye ranyi eba. Nde fulani, nino mweha, aga yinye ekele. Ni yinye otaze, ni yinye okaze. Ni hii aye nyana. Ni hii antoroba. Ni hii oziza. Ni hii inye ni ni nyina anyo oba. Odimba hage ekelegi. Inye ndi anabukona ine nyego ekele ubuwa. Aina achoka inye tono daige jie ekelegi. Ndi ochiche uwele mpabuna babuwa anyo. Odeka anye chifurugi. Odeka anyama wonyebo. Hinkwe eka inye tono nwa anyo. Eka iji kwe siike. Na biafra abya. Na inge mweto mwanyi, kudo si ike, no kwanyi, inyegi, ifegi. Ani bia ni ifegi, anyaga yeche tempanyi. Ubuwa, aino ni meba, anapwa Nigeria. Abia ke ifegi, asi na waka abu abu, asi ke inyegi ufufe. Nde made yeche tewe mpaha, nde made yeche tewe golo, nde made yeche tewe, kama ni nyacho kwa inyegi ufufe. Haga ye inyegi ufufe, yari yeche tempa. Kama abia frabia, abia inyegi ufufe, inyegi ufufe, aga ye yeche tempa. Obi ya kaiji na ayogi. Ayin mwere ABC, ayin kudosi ike, ifegi ubuwa. Kama nandye o chichi, neba yi mwetro mwanyi, aga ye nyanyi uhere. Okwa ni nyanyi biafra, ayin kudosi ike na ifegi. Nde mmado, e mwe ike. Matana, e bochi, makano mwe ndine kwe teze ni ino. Ya kaini ayogi. Yine na nyaka, Nkei kacha nke wei tonu na mdekano na abu. Ni hino ya ge dubani. Ime ele zudo. Oti si che kwa IPOB. Naka ni ina akwara ha. Ime ele zamana. Oti si dugida yuru ubuwa. Nare ke ele. Ni hinkei kana kwa di ime. Ige eme nyere. Aburu nke ndiru. Maka ni itigo ha mamu na koto ha. Ha wewe li nyere. La. Mechana sese kwe mu. Nka bi nyere nke mbo. 
nkiba azwa bu na nam de kanu ga hapu ebe ha de wori ihere ga bu nke ha ma nam de kanu ga wuzo untouchable maka na ima na obo ogugu ina achi de we maka no meri cha ya ni na ode izi hi ozo madu je nyu ya ode izi hi obu na ga emi madu abia nyu weze mobu ya nwa bia nyo mabu na oga adizi conscious of ndu ya ya ka iji na ayogi okwe ya putu gba ya na ndi kasin anwaze na oche ya na ndi na achi owa na owa ha barikota ha jo ya mpa ya he kuwe okuwe gba ho to si choko ndi okwe ya ka iji ayogi anya se gi na ni gi ka ndi mozi gi meya anya se gi wara ipo bi meya kama to ra na ndi ka na na abu ko duru anya ga email ezudo na ha gi chi uku okike abia amara pro email ihe nile we have prayed he said he said, he said, thank you. Thank you. We move. Somebody, if you know any link to any government, um, any government um, uh, judiciary, any link or uh, international media, link this very program to them. We will keep hitting on it. Our leader Namdekanu did not give us gone. We are POB, in case you don't know. Right? Thank you. We are coming live. Very, very clear. Here from this very studio, everything is right. Complete. Thank you. And my signals here, everywhere is okay. We move. Let us, first of all, call the names of the Supreme Court judges. You know, you are seeing their pictures there. And you see the um, Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ari Wola. <laughs> Let us uh, go there and see. Let us see their names. We need to call their names. We need to call their names so that you know the names of the Supreme Court um, justices that eventually gave us date of court before the day they will resume court. You know, it, is, it was very, very unfortunate that such an institution like Supreme Court can fix a date of court far away four months plus adjournment from May to September 2023. To our surprise, few weeks to this very date of court, IPOB lead council gave us a message by the Sifaye Jofo from the Namdekanos lead council. Professor Mike Ozokome san write that they are seeking for a new date. We know that it is on process, but there is something I want to bring in here before I mention their name, because you must know why the name, if you are joining the program, you must know why their names are mentioned. We must have to touch. Now, we go to, let us bring it low. We went to appeal uh, Supreme Court in May, was it May 2nd or what? Whatever might be the date. It was in May 2023. Our hearing was adjourned till September 14, which have come and gone, 2023. Let us just say four months adjournment. It is five, four. let us call it four. Now, can you believe, can you agree with us, IPOB, that the Nigerian Supreme Court judges did not see the court are you aware that nigerian supreme court judges was not able to sit that very court they said that they have not resumed is it sitting of court or whatever they call it in their language all they knew that their vacation, was it said they ended, it ended on 18th or what? But what I want to ask there, and everybody should ask them, 
in case when our line will be open if you call in why did they fix a date even families that are holding burial of their that want to hold burial of their loved one they check everything even villages that maintain four market days in Ibo land or Biafra land they also calculate very well knowing when is AK, knowing when is Uriye. They will calculate before they face a burial. All these social clubs or union, before they face anything, they sit and calculate. Unless eventually government put coffee or something or anything that will disrupt whatever they are doing. must be a government order. Right? Now, If you go to churches, before they do something, they calculate so many organizations. Even mosques. Mosques, they know when they are expecting the new moon. All these Muslim, Even these Muslim judges that are in this Supreme Court judge among them, they knew when they are expecting the new moon. As a Muslim. Isn't it? So, how come in the issue of Fundamentalist hearing in Supreme Court I don't know what they did. Okay. I can now see the I can now see um, the very um, comments. I wasn't seeing it before. We move. So how do this very um, institution fix such date without checking very well. You know, the issue of the case of Namdekano is different from any other case in Nigeria. When these very people are handling the case of Namdekano, I don't know how they feel. Now, to this very point, after the trial in Federal High Court, Abuja, presided over by General M. Um, Justice Fatima bin Tamotanyaku, we are Namdekano destroyed um, through his legal team, destroyed um, seven count charges despite several amended count charges from five to seven, seven to fifteen. Seven was destroyed when it remains fifteen. It remained fifteen. Seven was destroyed and eight was taken to appeal. And the appeal destroyed the eight and did not end it there. Discharging Namde Kano and acquitted him and prohibited him from standing any trial. It is a very different case that the case has been discharged already by the court, not even lower court. Justice appeal court. You know, people must understand what we are saying and what we are doing. We are not joking. The same thing we promised them. We will destroy you in your own court. The same thing we are doing. And the same thing is happening. Ari Wola is here. Ari Wola, the Chief Justice of Nigeria. He is a supreme. You can see the pictures of the Supreme Court judges. Let me call their name. Then we analyze. Thank you. Share it very wide though. This is the battle. You must be clever to know Mbwe Meri Rogo. Ongwa nandia hon yi meri, nokata luo kute. Ehe, ye ma kwa hige meno kuta an halu. If you move wo, you move wo te she me, make a shon ye ma tarebe meri. Make a shon ye ma tarebe meri. Na field of, na pitch of play, e wune lines. Ago tari anha. Iga nokata na abali ni me field. And we eighteen yard bus. And we could be in the in the chichi. And we middle. And we in the in the. And I go to the. Otu akwa do no go. You must understand this thing. Not a bag of free. Can walk out there. Ogo ane change. Can you move? Can you follow you up? Can you move? Can you follow you up? Do you think that if we want to be talking about two times before, we will not continue? Two times before we hear on eku. A defeat go nyen ka nka aga. Doko bo kwa 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 agola. Nka nka aga ala. Yon gondari, ndi fitreto. Nka aga ala, hanos na abaze egu. 
Me agarra a Jaja, yo apeta de Maraja. E otra. After he le e ho kwai pio bi ka haguzo. Ai ga no na senta ni maka na ekiri. Ai ka na ekiri. We continue. So this is the stage I'm on now. Can you handle lawyer aka? You are on Twitter. Go and do your own. You don't make post, make positive post on this stage I'm on now. Make positive post. Happy go down there. Don't want go on all. Right? You're in the lawyer saying I can only hear a drag. Anyway, you can hear discuss go day to you. But I'm only a secular. But can you handle aka? Can you handle aka? Or go up later on now. Later on now, we will help them in the day of the court. The Supreme Court, Amara Mahakaga Wari, you know, I want to educate you now. How man, I worry, Kwan, in your quiet day, Tosoka, Naika Ganabata. You need to focus. Imari Bogono, Ibezia, or go to her own Agahalon Koso, make a show no way in her off and that. You see, return back. You can get to one of the video and those of the water program, where it has it to, but Unka must be a primary, Unka Gawari, a duty to you now and after pick the date. Now and after pick the date, if you have a chance, they will see the our lawyers. Lawyers are all come mad. You man, all what I should do, can they share the hanger? Right? Thank you. We move. Let me go and uh, get their names. I need to get their names. Names of the Supreme Court judges. Why, why, why can't you come out now? Okay, I am there now. Welcome to the program, Omo Chineke. <laughs> we are dealing with them. Current one, so there was a one that um, I mentioned in my last broadcast about them. That one have resigned. I mentioned her, she resigned two days. After that, bro, she, her resignation date or something her, is, was always, almost close. But she was there now, and they fixed the date. That why, that's why I included her. Right? So right now, this is what we have here. Current Supreme Court judges of Nigeria. We go here. What do we have? Oluka Yode Ariwola, Chief Justice of Nigeria. He is number one there. Two. Musa. That is Joe Mohammed. Number two. Let me start afresh and add who they are. Justice Oluka Yode Ariwala, Chief Justice of Nigeria. At Anameti Lordship, our own lawyer, Haga Wurongwaha. Justice Musa That is Joe Muhammad. Mado. Muhammadu Mad M A D, not Mad. Uh -huh. Another one is the Supreme Court judge. Number three, Chima Sentus Mweze, Ibo Man, Ediafran, Justice Chima Sentus Mweze, Supreme Court judge, Justice of Nigeria. Justice Kudirat Kekere Ekun. Justice Kudirat Kekere Ekun. All these people I'm calling, they are on that picture you are seeing there at the top. Justice Amena Ogi. Justice Amena Ogi. Do you understand? We continue. Thank you. Facebook, what is happening? Are you removing people? We don't care. We don't care. Let me continue. Justice Owane. I am confused with this name. Justice Owane Musa Abba Aji. What? What is the Owane there? We have Owane in Nsoka. I don't know. Is Owane a Fulani name or Hausa name or what? I don't know. 
Why is such a name? Owane. Owane. Musa. Abba. Aje. What kind of name is this? Complicated name. Okay. Let me just see Owane. Right? I don't know where to count this man. Is it in Igbo or in where? Ha. Okay, we'll continue. We must mention your name normally. Justice Owane, Musa, Abba, Aji, Odukwe Guo, Kewane, Konyobula, Lama, Mude, Ahandi, Ahan, Ahan, Madu, Ewa, Ahan, 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 Another one, Justice John, Enyang, Okoro, Justice John Enyang Okoro Ebiafran. I think you can understand. Justice Lawal Garba, Supreme Court Judge. This is the list with me here. I think there are more. But this is the one with me here. And with this one, we can move. After all, the pictures of others, in case their name we are not mentioned, are also included on the very screen. Then let us march on the analysis and know they, are, they should tell us their reason. We are asking them, Why did you dribble us in our dates of court? Number one. Why did you cancel our date of court in Supreme? Why did you not calculate very well before you give us dates? Now, why are you still delaying in granting us a new date. Are you not the person that's supposed to pick a new date and inform our lead council, knowing the importance the, of the case of Unam de Kano? Or have you forgotten the significance of it? Do you, have you forgotten how important it is to discharge, to discharge Unam de Kano? as have all, uh, earlier discharged, uh, declared by the appeal court. Don't you know that without the surgery in Namdekano, there is no country called Nigeria? Don't you know that the constitution you are holding as Supreme Court judges remains useless? If court can make declaration and government truncate it, using an appointee, Attorney General, who say his name is Malami, to truncate a court declaration. Have you forgotten? Can't you see the picture there? A picture of discharge in Namdekano. Discharge and acquitted in Namdekano. It's a very important case that should be looked into. Why are you dribbling us like that? Or do you think that IPOB is like Nigerian youth or something? Why did you... Have you ever seen a school that closed school like July to resume by September um, um, 18? Let me just say, to resume by September 18 while they fix examination on the September 2nd. Have you ever seen it? Have you ever seen such thing? Then, why did you handle our own like that? Then, why are you still wasting time to approve a new date for the hearing? Or are you trying to also follow the same step of the government by truncating 
court order. Is the Supreme Court, are they trying to act like the federal government themselves? No, we want to know. Because we have never seen a country. No, even in the case of Unam in a criminal in criminal charges like this, right? Case of uh, charges of terrorism and uh, some other treason, all these things. You can never file stay of execution. It doesn't happen. It's illegal. And uh, let me just say, uh, the very declaration of the appeal court was not obeyed already by Nigerian government. The sergeant and acquitted. Nam Dekan did not leave the detention. And they filed stay of execution after removing the judges. Now, we ask you, why did you file stay of execution in appeal court? Why did you not um, go to Supreme? Because you know we beat you. Ozoko may beat all of you. He know that if all the matter ended, if Nam Dekanu is discharged in Federal High Court, that you go to appeal and appeal it. So he calculated very, very well. He knew he had beaten Nigeria. He destroyed seven charges in Federal High Court where you expect you that's the Nigeria was hoping eventually if Ozoko may was Nam Dekanu was discharged in Federal High Court. They will now go to um, appeal. Did you understand? Uh -huh. So then I will now go to Supreme. Right? That's their calculation. That's how they fixed the match, the, how they wanted to, the match to, to be, you know? Uh -huh. They predicted it, they planned it, but it didn't work because Zukume lead council, Azokome, the lead council to Nam Dekano calculated very well. They discussed very well. They now trust seven charges in Federal High Court. They took eight to appeal. Now, and Nam Dekano was discharged in appeal. Means that they cannot file stuff execution in the same appeal. Had it been it happened in High Court, Federal High Court, they can go to appeal. Do you understand? So they failed there. And again, in this kind of, in this kind of charges Namdekano was facing, you cannot file stuff execution. In criminal charges like, no, it doesn't happen. It was unlawful. So what we are telling the Supreme Court judges is that that thing all of you is wasting time for. There is no other option to take. You cannot declare that Namdekano should start standing trial, you know. We know why we are following everything as a, normally because we are law abiding IPOB. We started by abiding to all law, both local and international law, and we we'll continue to do so. That is why we always approach you and your government in a civilized manner. As IPOB started. And we are reminding you that we are not Nigerian youth that will forget, you know. But we know that the Supreme Court can make a very um, positive decision because there is no other decision you take than the very picture there that a P court have decided on the canal and acquitted him and it has not been obeyed by federal government. And you should still flash back that Namdekano's case that that one from 2015 that Namdekano was also discharged twice and none was obeyed. You can go and ask Supreme Court judges. You can go and ask Justice Ademola. He's still alive. Ariwala, you can ask him. He's your brother. Go and ask Justice Ademola. If you, uh, you want to hide away from it, go and ask Ademola. Did you decide in Amdekano on December 2015, discharged unconditionally? He will tell you yes. You can still go to Justice John Soho and ask him, did you actually decide in Amdekano? He will tell you yes. You know, we are reminding you that um, we know what we are doing after all. But we will keep doing it so that the world will bear us witness, hoping that Supreme Court will do what they are supposed to do to save the 
very remaining, you know, the very remaining, just small, a little thing that left for Nigeria. We know that Supreme Court can still try because they have heed to the voice of the government by picking an off date. Yes, that one have come and gone. We are now facing the present one. So what are you trying to do again? Will you still act like a government? Because we know that Supreme Court can save the little one that remains. But are you still trying to dance, use the same dancing step that you used to give us death of court that you canceled? Did you understand? It was it should have been better that you we came to court. We we went we go to court and the court didn't sit. It would have been better than cancelling. Cancel the date. It's an insult to Supreme Court or to Nigerian judiciary as a whole. But we know they can still redeem their image back, the image of the Supreme Court, and um, through them can be extended to their country also as Nigeria, if there is anything like that. Because their image is gone, Supreme Court judges. That very date you fixed that didn't sit, just dealt with you. We are telling you. And that is why we are here. No, so this very time around, our duty is to be reminding you all these things. Remember that in Namdi Kano, at the end of the matter in 2017, after two unconditional releases by Federal High Courts, which I have mentioned the names of the judges, Ademola, Honorable Justice Ademola, and the Honorable Justice John Soho. After that one, that Binta Motlanyako also granted Namdi Kano bail, which is unlawful, which was unlawful. We will also analyze there another question. You know, why we are reminding these things? Because the Supreme Court judges should not listen to the federal government in their blackmail. We are reminding you far back, knowing that IPOB is always law-abiding. If they can bring all this blackmail to your table and say, IPOB do this, IPOB do that, ask them, what did IPOB do after Justice Ademola decided and DSA did not let him to go? What did we do? How many stations did we burn? Let us continue. On the process, we gathered in National High School about 9th of February 2016 after the discharge of Fernando by the, on the 20th of December 2015. We gathered in our Ban National High School, a primary school field, to pray for Fernando <coughs> Kano. Excuse me. <coughs> to pray for Fernando Kano's release. From illegal detention, because court have already discharged him, Nigerian army and police came there and killed us, massacred us. Are we not supposed to retaliate? Did we retaliate? Did we retaliate? We continued. Honorable Justice uh, John Su, discharging Namde Kano. They still held him. We gathered in Mbo, 29th to started me to remember our fallen heroes. So. They still came there and massacred us under Obiano. Even went to the hospital and took some of our people, some of our people we took to the hospital. They took them and went, they went and killed them. Do you know there is a graveyard in Onitsha Barak? Now, go and ask um, Soludo if he can assist you to that place. You know, Soludo, have you not been there? Then you can tell your army to allow you to see the graveyard. You know, it, it was done by Obiano. Haven't they shown you? That's where they threw our people now. Okay, you are not aware. You, you are aware there is a graveyard in our, in our, in our nature, but you are aware. Absolutely, you are aware. So, uh, Supreme Court judges, you can ask Governor Charles Soludo, he will assist you to the our nature barrack. You will see where our people were thrown in. Do you understand? Then, we have never carried up any gun. Do you know that Upon the prov provocation by, after all and done, granting an the kind of bail, upon two unconditional releases by these two courts I have mentioned, even as Justice Samed Mohammed rejected the case and won DSS from bringing such case to his honorable court. And that was the th third court they took the case. And we still come back to you, the Supreme Court judges. 
in case they are trying to lie to you. You know, they are concocting criminality in our land now. You know, people that can organize Boko Haram to wipe away the Northerners in order to sack Jonathan. They can also organize uh, the, the, the terrorists also to attack army so that they can occupy a human banner and start stealing, robbing, raping. You know, they are doing nothing in the barracks, you know. So the bandits are disturbing the government to push them away from the north, the few that are remaining. So they are looking for a way to go. So, like what's happened in um, Omar al -Marco. you know, you go to that market now, Supreme Court judges, we are just telling you, we are taking you to that area. I'm just bringing your mind closer. You go to that place now, I may have occupied it. Are, are you aware? They burned down the village market of that place. They occupied the market. And now, the village women cannot move now. The, parents, the fathers cannot move. The youths have run away. Do you understand? Now, we know that they, can still, they may still bring it to you as um, a uh, gra uh, amendment ground of appeal. You know, but we have crossed that level now. There was automatum for them to present such things. But we know you are a Nigerian. You can still accept it. You know, with the, by speaking from the both, tongue, uh, both sides of your mouth. You know, that's the method of Nigeria. You know? So, we are asking you now, did IPOB retaliate then? No. We didn't retaliate. So now, that they are trying to concord story and submit to you in a human ban, Omar Mark, what do you have to say? If they present such thing to you, will you not refer them back to after when they attacked the house of Namdekano and then Namdekano was missing? Why can't you ask them? How many houses? How many army barracks? How many security agencies? Or how many security formation did IPOB attacked? Even as Namdekano was missing from September 14 till October, September 14, 2017, till October 2018, that area appeared in Israel. How many police stations did IPOB burn? How many policemen did we kill? How many army did we kill? How many security formations did we attack? How many people did we beheaded? How many politicians did we... None! So, how come? That one was that Nigeria kidnapped and kind of from Motla Mohammed Airport. Not a sort of ordinary rendition. Why do you accept lies that when Namdekano was extraordinarily renditioned, which we know that Nigeria has scored own goal in their own post, because we are not political party, we are people, we fight to the last. Only politicians can decamp to another party. Hence, they fall into this very God. God prepared a trap. We did not prepare it. God prepared it. Now we are utilizing it. We cannot move an inch. So, we are asking you, if we did not go in violence, into violence when this previous court orders was, uh, sorry, formal, uh, this uh, uh, earlier, this earlier court orders was refused by, or disobeyed by DSS from 2015, 2016, 2017. Even as we did not go to war or go to violence, as an American was granted bail after being discharged. Why, can, why do you accept lies now that now IPOB is violence? Why? When our leader was missing for one year, we didn't go to war. Is it now that we know where he is that we will be killing our own? No. So if they bring such thing to you, tell them no. Mind you, Supreme Court judges, we are asking, we are just reminding you. Mind you that from that court of Justice Ademola, to the court of Justice John so that there was no um, legal or valid detention warrant that they presented before Justice uh, John so because immediately Justice Ademola decided to the Kano unconditionally. That very detention warrant becomes useless. It becomes null and void. And there was no new court that gave arrest warrant of Namdekan. No, but they used the same warrant that have already been discharged by Justice Ademola. 
They use it to transfer the case to the court of justice and so. The same warrant was discharged. And that is so much implication. You, you know, these are injustices. This time around, they tried it again. And that is why we are in Supreme. Because we are not coming to Supreme from Federal High Court. We come to Supreme from AP Court, where we secure victories. There is nothing like state of execution. That very state of execution of Nigerian government is rubbish. So, the illegal detention of Nnamdi Kanu is what we are demanding from the uh, Supreme Court to make the very positive decision and free Nnamdi Kanu as, as already declared by Api Court. We have demanded them pass judgments. I've not even touched UN ruling. Is it on the jumping of bell? A verdict by Omar State High Court, 19th of January 2022, also declared that Namdekan did not jump bail, but he escaped military association attempt. So, what we are presenting to the Supreme Court judges now is what will be a stumbling block that will stop you from freeing Namdekan if you did not base on the. Um, if you are not freeing him based on the discharge on based on his discharge by justice ademola 2015 if you are not freeing him with the discharge by justice ademola um justice um john Soho, 2016 if you are not going to discharge him by compensating him over the attack that Nigerian army carried on in his house or in his, yes, in his home, 2017, September 14. Even this one is enough for the Supreme Court to decide. But if you cannot free him on that one, you can see the members' um, UN order. If you, that one is okay, you can still use the, the bone of contention. The appeal court judgment. That one is not, uh, nothing can challenge that one. And that is what we are asking that the, this very Supreme Court judges should do. Remember that after that very 13th of October ruling, there was also another ruling by, in Federal High Court, oh my, Federal Law, 26th of October, 2016. The other said that an American should be returned back to Kenya. Did you understand? So, these things are on your table. And we knew that it is in what our late council submitted. And what we are asking, some of them are there, what we are asking is, what, where will you now stand and give injustice? No way, there is no vacation, there is, um, there is no space to stand and give injustice. No. So, you have to do the needful and free them they can. He's already a freed man. But illegally detained. So, if we cannot use violence to challenge this very rubbish, why must government, through their army, concord stories and bring to you? Can't you, know, can't you see that they have um, resumed attack in our places? They want to occupy our land before Namdekan is released. They are using their, their um, recruited instruments. When they shoot, they run away. Then the army will have used that opportunity and you occupy that place. You go to Okigwe Ihube. Since that time, that thing happened. They are there. They occupy there. That's how they do. Now, in a human normal Marco, they have occupied that village market. That's how they do. That is taking over our land and somebody must lead them in somebody must shoot and run if you shoot and run they will come and occupy there and torture your people and rob your people steal from your people kidnap your people hence the army is there in normal mark full and his men can come in because the youth have run away so anywhere they conquer full and he can occupy it is their new motion. That's why the government says, hey, declare this, declare this. Because that is to occupy, this is how they will be going. 
Next one now, they will shoot somewhere. The army will come and occupy there again. Next one, they will shoot somewhere. The army will come and... That is the strategy. They want to occupy our land before Namdekan will be freed. And they are using people as a torchlight. You know, people don't understand that criminality cannot be uh, presented to any uh, international body or anybody in the world as what you did during freedom fighting. No, it is unpresentable. Now, do you want to count it? Somebody may try to deceive you and say that uh, people are doing it. Hey, it is good. It's a lie. Oh, yeah. Show me people that claim responsibility. Can anybody take responsibility? <laughs> Officially. Official press release. Responsibility. You say you kill him in a human banner. Can somebody do it? But I feel be ESN. Take responsibility of their action in law banta. They took responsibilities of so many actions. Can somebody take responsibility of the action in a human banter? No. That is criminality. Can never be recorded in freedom fighting. Can you understand? Can, don't you hear Avengers when they do? They take responsibility. Can people take responsibility of the attack? No. Then how do you value it? Some of you that jump up. Don't you know the same thing that happened in Monday sit at home? There was no backup press release. How do you think it is reflected? It will reflect. Nobody agrees that he, he enforced it at home. Nobody. Therefore, it will not be recorded to anybody. You are just doing it. The same thing with criminality. You cannot come up now and claim that you kill army. Can you? You cannot. Then, how do you take it as something? Now you have clear road for the enemy. Can you come back and pursue them from the market? They are occupying the market now. Can you sack the army? No. You are an instrument of the government to occupy our land. Stop the rubbish. I'm in Biafra land. If we want to fight a war with the Nigerian army, we have nothing to do with checking points or patrol team. If you collapse the barracks, they will have no home. People are so foolish. Police station in your community. I mean, barracks is in your community. You go and jam healers. Then they will now release army from the barrack. But if you scatter the barrack, you know that those ones that are in the city with their van, they have no power. And we as a legitimate freedom fighters, IPOB, we have studied these things. We know how to fight zoo if eventually the devil's alternative remain, well, becomes the last, the very option that the zoo choose. We know how to fight them. They are not complete. If you shoot gun, let me just tell you, if you are make, doing protests in Omaha, the whole army in Enugu will be sent to Omaha. Army in Iguacha will be sent to Omaha. Army in Oweri, Obinze, will be sent to Omaha. Even they will bring more army from Onitsha. They will bring from Ukebi to Omaha. And you cannot stand them because there will be many. If you want to fight them, you start a war in the whole state at the same time. While you have also set up those that will enter the zoo. If you are hitting the Abarak in 14 Brigade or Hafia, you are hitting in Abakaliki, you are hitting in Enugu, you are hitting in Onitsha, you are hitting in Owire, you are hitting in Iguacha, you are hitting in Bayesa, you are hitting... You are hitting everywhere so that they cannot transfer army to another place. You outnumber the army, the particular number of army in the state. Not if you come here and shoot, you run away. They deploy army from different angles. They will fill that place. And they will not see you. It's not a way. We tested it during protests. Our first protest was in Bayesa. All road leads to Bayesa. They clamp us down there. We didn't achieve anything. And IPOB asked us to apply plan B. You know, we have C. We have D. We have E. Right? That's how if we... They just, if you call them, they say, go and apply plan B. Simple. What was the plan B? 
go and start protests in the states. Everybody in their state. Because when we went to Bayesa, all of them came there. Army from Abia went there. From Imu went there. From different places, they went there. From Calabar, But they said, start protests in all the states. We start in Imu. Start in Abia. Started in Ainugu. Started in Ebony. Started in Delta. Started in Iguacha. So the army and the police in Iguacha will face us in Iguacha. The army in Anambra will face us in Anambra. Now you see how to fight. And you think we are joking. We know how to deal with you. This, we are not just trying. IPOB, we, have not just, we are not just trying. Or oh, we come to try. No. <laughs> we are here to restore Biafra. So, how can you leave a two division? You, you go to Akinoku and jam army. Army five. You kill army five in Akinoku. Uh, then they will deploy battalion from a two division. But if you attack a two division, you know that those in Akinoku have no home to return. You capture them. You know, people don't even know. <laughs> You leave their base, you came, you draw trouble for people. In, you know there is election in him. So many instigations. Now you shoot, you run away. This has been my program every time. You shoot in a junction, you run away. The army occupies the village. They start killing, they start burning houses, they start stealing, they start robbing. They start raping. What is your benefit then? You put people that do not even know what you are doing. You put them in trouble. But in IPOB, Nandekanu told us that our duty is to protect our people because we are the people calling for Biafra. And that is why we are after information. We deliver information to them. We tell them not when to come out. We tell them this time around, don't go night movement. We tell them this time around, don't go, don't do meeting. We tell them this because we are in charge. We must secure them. We can never bring trouble to any community. To any place we know it will consume our people we have saved their life terrorism cannot be counted in freedom fighting that's why esn take responsibilities of their actions so that the government will know that they are in their duty or on their duty they never run away taking responsibilities of what they did no when Fulani wanted to attack a lot of communities, they told them, yes, and said, we are the people. Come after us. But you see people, they go and shoot army uh, patrol. They run away. Nobody give press release and say, we are the people that did it. So the government will know who to approach. Government will know your reason. Government will know what you are doing. This is how to fight. You don't fight blindly. And somebody at the side is clapping. You are clapping for criminality. You prepared, you came, you shoot, you run away. You didn't inform the communities. After shooting, you run away. The army occupied the community. And they have nobody to call for help. Because they don't know you. You are a criminal. Now you know you set that community up. Those that did that in, in a human bar, no? whether those are them, whether criminals, whether infiltrators, whether anything you have in mind, Go to that community, you see what you did to them. Why did you not go to Ame Barak? If you go to Ame Barak, they will not go after the community. Why did you not go to police barrack? If you go after police barrack, they will not go after the community. For you to do that, they have occupied the market, village market, at this time of the rainy season, this time that people are supposed to sell their crops or sell their, um, something they bring out from their farm. Where will they sell it now? Where will this woman, how, how do they survive? Can you go and pursue the army? No. Now, what was the reason of what you did? And what did you achieve now? You achieve intimidation in that community. Why do Namdi Kanu say, I want our land to become unpeaceful? He said that when you make these things, it paves ways for the enemy. They see reason to come and kill our people. They see reason. If you ask them now, they said anybody they catch in that human banana, they will say he's the one that killed army. Because you gave them reason. But the people that will suffer this thing now, you did not discuss it with them. Why did you go to their community and kill? Don't you know that the army, you are sharing boundary with them? 
the same territory. They have they will occupy that community. And from there, Fulani will come in. You will not be there to fight them. Any community they occupy now, they bring in Fulani. To be kidnapping, they will now create a dumping position place where they will keep people they kidnap. In Imo now. That a human banner where army is now. You know, anywhere they occupy, there must be a place where they are full of any terrorists will be keeping somebody for them and collect 50 million. And they leave. you know, it must be closer to where army is. So, people they have put up. Why? Why did you do that? Why did you go and set up Omeze 1, Omeze 2, Omalo Marco, Omonakano? What is it called? All of them. Umeze Alama. What are those communities uh, around that very place? Closer to that place. You have set them up now. And they are suffering. From there, they will be extending it to Isi Alamba. No? They will extend to Ubu. Because it's the same work in the Nigeria zone. Now you have given them positions. Small time, they, they have mounted their military thing in that market. Can you go and pursue them? You are, you are a criminal. Can you take responsibility? Can somebody say, come out, take responsibility, give official press release and say, we did it? Thank you. Thank you. Umar Kago. Okay, thank you. There are many there. You know, so many places in Biafra land, even if we didn't go there, we know their names. We know their names. Yes, uh, that is a worry. A worry is the terror zone. You know? <laughs> That's why we are pursuing Biafra now. We know our places. Everywhere we call any state now, we must. We must tell you. Yes, I was thinking about Umunumu. Umunumu. Thank you. Thank you. Those places, Umu him, you have set them up. You have set them up. Why? Why did you do so? Did you give them gun? No. You hit and run. Now, why not say we did it? So that the army will look for you and come to your address. Why can't you do so? Now, our people can understand what we mean. <laughs> you can understand what we mean in IPAB so we are to, we are clever we are clever and we know what we are doing and we will continue to inform our people on what we are doing then let us touch the Supreme Court judges again before we, re we close the program this is how we will be dealing with them we must continue to expose them they must give us a new date, and again, if they give us new dates, they should discharge Namdekan that very day. Keeping in Namdekan have no meaning because he will not stand any trial. Try. Okay. That is it. They have scattered those areas. They have scattered them. Women cannot even go to the farm and take their palm, what is it called? Their palm seed and come and say, you know, people, no way. Now, people, there are one of my customers, he came to my office. He said, he can, they, to take food to their parents now, they don't know how. The parents, the mother cannot go to farm. The father cannot go to farm. They are old. And they used to go visit them and give them what they are eating. How can they reach them now? The army have occupied them. If ESN is on duty, they will engage, they must make sure they sack you. But when criminals come in operation to facilitate the very agenda of the government, that is how they always do. People that killed the Northerners to sack Jonathan with a black man to say he's not fit. People that are ready to wipe away all the Northerners to remove Jonathan. How do you think they cannot constitute attack against the army? After all, they are the people that set up their armies. 
set their armies up to the hand of Fulani and the hand of Boko Haram. Boko Haram killed their armies. So, do you think they cannot start the same thing in the east by setting their armies up? If they kill them there, they pick some army, set them up, they kill them, they will occupy the community, they will bring in Fulani. Maybe that is the new way to, for Fulani to, to uh, at least uh, for Ruga. Before the community will return, they will occupy the other community. But it will not work because there is ESN. Right? So what we are telling our people is, whenever you see these criminalities, don't cla clap. Don't clap. It is not part of freedom fighting. People may claim, you know, some cowardice, uh, some useless people will come, hey, it's good. We are it is a lie. It is a lie. It has nothing, it has no positive effect to anything freedom. Only negativity. Negativity. Negative. When we are telling you what this thing will result, that is what it always results. You see them attack Uguta at times. People will go there and shoot and run away. They will come there and kill people. And those people that did it cannot come out and say we did it. That's why we launch ESN and send them in the bush. If you are angry the way they are fighting Flanny Hessmen, go to the bush and fight them. So that no community will be implicated. No community will be involved. No innocent person will be involved. If you want to fight them, fight them there. Deal with the grasses, not to humans. But people bring war in our community. They told you they are fighting. So nobody take an inch step to any part of Nigeria. They are in our land bringing war. You are clapping. You must fight criminality. You must. They will damage you. The army have no duty than to come to any community that kill the army. They have right to kill the youth. That's the decision of Nigerian government. That's how their army do. They will be killing. People will be missing. They will be kidnapping. Why did you do so? Why did you do so? Why did you hate our people? Why? Why are you setting our people up? Why are you instigating? We move. So... Supreme Court, you have cancelled 14. Give us new date. And on the new, on the new date, free Nam de Kano. Free Nam de Kano. Thank you. I don't know if somebody can come call in and... Um, And see if we can receive a call here then we now call it a, a day on this very program please the number to call is plus one six four six nine four five nine six nine four go ahead amen go ahead in here add in this now later Do you understand? If anybody have time to call, you call in, then we close the program. Plus one, WhatsApp, six forces. Okay. A caller on the phone, we have come to you, your name and where you are calling us from. Welcome to the program. Can you hear us? Go ahead. Hello, man, you didn't hear from here. Contributions. Uh, I want to make few contributions which go. Thank you. 
it is their pride that will destroy Nigeria. The Nigerian government is proud. The leaders or the politicians in Nigeria rightly called. It's all right. Thank you, Muchineke. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Dikola. Thank you. And we'll continue to push. Mechukwa Biyama continue to assist our people. Continue to bless them. Continue to be with them. Continue. Because this very battle we are in, we will continue to push until Namdekano is released and Biafra is fully restored. Thank you. From me, fearless IPOB evangelist Mazemara Chumachuku, and from here, our homeland radio Biafra, here in Biafra land. It is good evening. <laughs>